Good morning, you guys. So this is day five. Um, I didn't have um, a day four um, night um, drink. Um, I don't know why I just forgot about it. And also, I had drank a energy drink earlier that day, so I didn't want to mix it. Um, being I had drunk it so late in the day, the energy drink. I think I drank that around five, so I didn't want to mix it because I was still going from that. So we're opening up a new can. So this is morning time. Um, the only other thing I noticed other than, of course, the peeing a lot and not being thirsty throughout the day is I can tell in my stomach, like my water weight has went down. So definitely don't think I lost any weight from it, but I can definitely tell that, um, the, like I said, the water weight went down. So um, I mentioned in yesterday's video, day three, that... Um, it, I did more research on it and it's literally just a detox drink. I don't see the benefits of maybe losing weight on it. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to continue it out and I think I'm even going to continue it past um, the seven days just to see. And also, um, there's another drink I found that people said that they really lost weight with it. And that was this exact thing except for adding cucumber, like whole cucumbers to because it's supposed to be more of like an actual like filling drink because I guess the cucumbers make you full. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm definitely going to try that one. But I won't be able to try that one until my fridge gets fixed so I can have the cucumbers in my fridge. So that won't be until around the 20th. But we are definitely going to be trying that and see how that goes. And yeah, still no energy. Um, but I looked it up and... It, it don't say anything about energy or weight loss with these um, ingredients. I'm going to have to do research on the uh, one with the um, cucumber to see what's the benefits of the cucumber in it. But this one is just more of a complete metabolism boost, complete detox, uh, so it's clean out any toxins in you, things like that. Um, I did notice that I, I have stopped drinking Cokes for about a week now and I was having headaches every day. Um, but I noticed yesterday and today I didn't wake up with one. So I, I honestly feel like this helped with that. Um, when I say I'm having detox from drinks, I mean I'm really am. I'm at least having three or four Cokes a day. And me not drinking it every day, I've, I was waking up like with a pounding migraine every single day from not having one the day before. And my body needed... The, my body don't need... My body wants the caffeine and the coke, um, but like I said, the last two days, I guess maybe once this kicked in, I have not woke up with a headache. Um, but yesterday, I did get one later on in the day, so I think maybe like once this one maybe kicked, you know, got out of your system or something. I'm not sure how to explain it. I'm not a nutritionist or di uh, di nutritionist or however you say that, dietitian. You know, you guys know what I mean. And a doctor. I'm just giving my honest opinion of how I feel and think this drink is doing. So, you know, definitely do your own research or ask your doctor or whatever if you want more realistic views on it. Um, this is just things that I'm thinking it's doing. Um, so, other than, like I said, other than those few things, there isn't nothing. Um, but if, I mean, if it helps with a headache of me not waking up with one, because when I don't go... When I go like two days without a Coke, when I say I wake up with a headache, I mean the headache is so, so bad. Like, so, so bad. It's like my head hurts to move. I mean, it's a complete migraine. But the last two days, I haven't woke up with one. Um, so, if, it don't, if I don't wake up with it again tomorrow, then I feel like it's definitely this because I haven't had no Coke. Um, if I wanted something sweet, Yesterday I went to Sonic and got a sweet tea. Other than that, I've been drinking just water. And some of the Zevia drinks. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm definitely going to make this ahead of time. Because I feel like I'm more easier to grab it at night time and drink it. Versus while I'm cooking dinner, trying to make this and do that. And, you know, and all those things. So, I'm going to start making it for sure ahead of time. So, all my videos will you guys be seeing me making one and two for later the days. And that way I can go ahead and post it. 
and the next day I'll just tell you guys how I feel even though we only have two days left but like I said if I do continue on with it I will let you guys know maybe do like a, a follow up every three days if I continue on with it every day just to see how my body feels like I said I can see and feel that I lost all my body all my water weight um so that's you know that's a good thing especially as a woman you know when your body has all that extra body uh water weight on and all that so I feel like as, as a woman you can see more of the results um I mean, maybe a man can too I, I can't speak for a man but I just feel like maybe you know most men don't pay attention to their body that much to know that they're this is just water weight and this is just you know things like that so definitely going to need some more ginger soon this should last me the seven days and then what I'm gonna do on the seventh day is probably take like a break on doing this for like a day or two and just see what it does because it, I mean even if I don't have it at nighttime I'm still having it that morning I want to completely go two to three days without it completely and see if my body feels any different so that way I know for sure what it was doing and I would definitely do a follow-up video with you guys for that so you can know. Um, so I got everything in here. Um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and make the other one as well so that way I can have them ahead of time and won't have to worry about not having it this evening because I do like having it at night time. It's more, it's just refreshing. I don't, and when I say having it at night time too, I don't wake up at night time wanting anything to drink either. I'm that person that would wake up, have to go to bed with something to drink and have to wake up throughout the night with something to drink. Now last night I did go to bed with something to drink. So I'm thinking since I didn't have one, maybe that's what it is because the day before I didn't have to have anything to drink or the day before that. So we'll just see how it goes and how I feel. Like I said, if you guys do decide to try this, definitely just, you know, basic off your actual realistic, you know, if you wake up every three days needing a drink, and you notice this day you didn't, then you probably didn't need a drink. It's just more of occasional thing. I'm the type of person that wakes up every single night to get something to drink. When I have this at nighttime, I do not. I'm the type of person that is at the refrigerator five to six times a day. This, I'm not. So, yesterday all I drank was this. That sweet tea from Sonic and an energy drink. And that was all I had all day long. So, when I say I'm literally not drinking anything, I mean... I'm forcing myself to have it. I, I got the sweet tea because I was thinking maybe it'd help with my midday headache and things like that. Um, so I'm trying not to make the video too long since this is going to be the only one. But I just, I want you guys to really think about is it helping your body? What is it actually doing for your body? Not a guess. Mine's not a guess. Mine's, I for sure would be hungry multiple times a day. And even if I wasn't hungry, I would still want that need to snack. Like I have these little chewy fruit things that I eat on because they, they're really only like 10 calories per chew. Or like one, 2 calories per chew or something like that. Maybe 5. And I would have a few of those throughout the day to have something sweet instead of eating, you know, like actual sweet sweets. I haven't even been wanting that. So like drinking it these 5 days has really shown me that I don't want any sweets. And throughout the day eating and throughout the day drinking so we'll see how it goes okay so this one this was supposed to be the max fill line when you um toss it there but i'm not going to put it in there so i have this completely filled to the top this little one that it came with and this is going to be the one that goes in the fridge so now i'm going to start the process all over again and make my drink for this morning Great, so I got that one put in the fridge, and this is my morning one, and I have it filled all the way up, so that's a pretty large one. Compared to the ones they were making on the other videos, they were doing smaller cups, like the one I froze when we put in the fridge. So I'm drinking about two of the other ones. So I am drinking over what they say, too, so. Alright, see you guys tomorrow.